Hello and welcome to the class of uh, Microwave Engineering Laboratory. That is the first class and first lecture of this segment. Microwave Engineering Laboratory course that is denoted as triple E triple one two. It is based on the measuring effects and some components and its effects and property evaluations of microwave devices and components. So in the first lecture we will likely to be familiar with the basic components of microwave engineering. So the listing starts through to gun oscillator, slide skew tuner, slotted line, PIN modulator, crystal detector, frequency meter, variable attenuator, fixed attenuator, this is the, these are the attenuator section, uh, terminator, directional coupler, horn antenna, hybrid T, wave to coaxial adapter, wave guide, reflector with stand, power supply, coaxial cable with connect connector and 1 kilohertz square wave generator. Some optional components are available are also available here. These are the power meter with thermocouple, SWR meter. Now we will go through to the basics of uh, uh, this kind of measuring devices. So we will go through to the technical descriptions that came under this ED3000 kit box which composed with this kind of components. So first of all, the first component gun oscillator. This gun oscillator is named after the uh, scientist named Gunn who discovered the gun effect in 1963 that generates microwave frequencies when a gun diode which is loosely coupled to a cavity that is the cavity section it is loosely coupled uh, to a cavity is connected to a 8 to 10 volt DC power source there is a power source 8 to 10 volt DC we have to uh, give and uh, the power output of the gun oscillator the power output of the gun oscillator ranges from 5 to 20 milliwatts depending upon the supply voltage that means if the supply voltage rises then the power will rise if it decreases then the power will decrease and other parameters of the oscillator there are some other parameters there are some screws here and there to adjust the other parameters of gun diode to adjust the power of the gun diode it is recommended that output frequency of x band of this manual's experiment produces procedures should be fixed at 10 gigahertz means in this manual's experiment we largely use 10 gigahertz not more like that we will stick to the basics or 10 gigahertz that is known as the x band frequency okay and this frequency is commonly used in military applications and now we will go through to the PIN modulator diode modulator now that is the pictorial uh, figure of PIN diode modulator a PIN diode modulator utilizes the property of a PIN diode you have came to know what is the PIN diode a PIN diode if it is reverse biased the, inserts, the insertion loss of the diode is so small that it does not affect the energy flow inside the waveguide and this PIN diode has been placed through, this, through, uh, through the up here at the that is a rectangular waveguide and it has been adjusted through to the PIN diode so the total formation is known as PIN diode modulator however when the reverse bias is removed either fully or partially the diode begins to control the energy flow thus creating an amplitude or pulse modulation effect so it generally shows the pulse modulation or amplitude modulation effect 
impedance matching is required to obtain the maximum power output impedance matching is required to obtain the maximum power output that means if we control this part that has been placed with pi and diode because if pi and diode if it is reverse biased it has the lowest insertion loss and that that is so small and it does not affect the energy flow inside the waveguide inside the waveguide if the energy flows through there to this part okay so it can also control the energy flow when the reverse bias has been fully removed throughout the pi and diode and uh, we can also achieve maximum power output by impedance matching leaving the diode unbiased could be destructive to the diode when there is a signal flow in the system that means we have to keep on the mind keep on mind that leaving the diode unbiased could be destructive so we have to make the diode biased on an every occasion on an every operation whenever we use this modulator in the section so now we are heading towards the third component that is the frequency meter and that is very much important uh, to find out the frequency of the circuit so the basic working principle of the frequency meter comes from the high q resonant characteristics that means the resonant cavity which is attached to a waveguide if a resonant cavity is attached to the waveguide it can be used as a frequency meter okay so resonant frequency of the cavity is variable by moving in and out the adjustable plunger there is an adjustable plunger here you can adjust it by rotating this so it is variable by moving in and out so we can calibrate it with a dial knob assembly with the dial knob assembly there are some values here and we can easily change the knob and make the cavity in and out to make it used as a frequency meter when the resonant frequency of the cavity is equal to the frequency of the waveguide there is a maximum energy transfer from the waveguide to the cavity this condition is indicated by a large power drop on the power meter which is connected to the waveguide the actual frequency is obtained by reading the calibrated dial get the calibrated dial and we can achieve it by the reading of the calibrated dial next one is the thermocouple power meter this is one of the important power meter to find out the power what has been the find out the power of the the uh, signal go through to the waveguide that is the connector cable cables and the thermocouple head and for the thermocouple power meter we can easily understand that how much power that go through to it and uh, this thermocouple power head has the thermo junctions in it to find out how much energy has been passed through to it and it is measurable by the thermal change thermal change of the property of the diode of the junctions now there is a variable attenuator here you can see there is a dial like there is a dial like scenario knob and if you just vary this knob okay so you can vary the attenuation of the signal from the load that is used to control the power level or to isolate source from the load you can if you make the knob to the zero point that will isolate totally isolate the source from the load and if you just open that is been used as different kind of powers will be passed through to the waveguide that means it it is it has been used as a resistor in your components 
as you need to the DC circuits. 